Hello everybody and welcome to Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana versus Purdue tonight at 7 o'clock. Obviously, big game, rivalry game, IU versus Purdue. That sort of explains exactly what it is and what it can be. A few things to think about as you think about tonight's game and look at some of the matchups. We'll get to some big picture stuff here in a minute. But let's talk matchups for a minute. Obviously, a lot of people look at Purdue, the first thing they think of, the two-headed monster of Edie and Williams on the inside. Edie, seven foot four, nearly 300 pounds, is a big problem on the interior. And they got Travion Williams who comes in for him. He's also obviously talented and big. Those are the two. They get a lot of the headlines for Purdue and deservedly so. Zach Edie obviously plays mainly in the punt. Paint, paint, excuse me. It's interesting when you look at catch circles for the two. Zach Eady catches the ball almost exclusively in the paint. Travion Williams actually is catching the ball outside the paint as much as he's catching it inside the paint this year for Purdue. It'll be interesting to see how Mike Woodson and the IU coaching staff decide to try to attack Edie and which players they decide to put on Travion Williams when he comes off the bench for Purdue. Two other players who jump off the page for you for Purdue, Jaden Ivey, tremendous guard, very good, getting downhill, makes threes, attacks the rim, has tremendous change of speed and change of direction, very difficult to stay in front of. Another guy on the perimeter for Purdue that you think about is Sasha Stefanovic. Outstanding shooter, arguably one of the best perimeter players in the country at making very crisp cuts, getting to where he's supposed to get to, utilizing screens, setting up a defender uh, when he's going around a screen. Sasha can make threes and he's also very good passing. Purdue's leader in assists this year. Those are probably the four guys you look at for Purdue who jump off the page first. They have other players who have come in at times, played well, Eric Hunter, a P.J. Thompson, uh, different guys who have, who have made contributions. But Zach Eady, Travion Williams, Sasha Stefanovic, and of course the headliner, Jaden Ivey, those are probably the big four per, for Purdue that you look at. For Indiana, certainly the headliner is Trace Jackson Davis, averaging right around 19 and 9. He's obviously got a tremendous speed advantage, quickness advantage, and athleticism advantage over Zach Eady. Does IU try to go fast? Do they try to rim run a little with Trace Jackson Davis? That'll be interesting to watch and see. IU's perimeter play. They've had some times where they've made threes. They've had some times where they've really struggled. How well will Indiana shoot from three in this game? That's another thing to look at. Guys off the bench. Jordan Geronimo is coming off a very good game at Nebraska. He was very helpful in IU's getting its first road win of the year. Geronimo's got tremendous versatility. He's got really good size. He's got a good wingspan. Is he a guy who comes in off the bench to try to get some points, to try to give IU some defensive uh, minutes here and there? It'll also be interesting to see who does Mike Woodson put Jordan Geronimo on. Last year as a freshman, we saw him have some good minutes even against Luca Garza. Very big, strong player. Ended up being player of the year for Iowa. Does he come off the bench to guard Travion Williams? That'll be interesting to see. How does IU use some other guys off the bench, like Trey Galloway, who's come in and given IU some good minutes on both ends of the court at various times? So I think those are some of the matchups that you think about as you, as you think about tonight's game. The big picture, the rivalry. It's Indiana versus Purdue. It's a big deal. It's a big deal to Indiana. It's a big deal to Purdue. It's a big deal in the state of Indiana. I was outside Assembly Hall earlier today, and the students are lined up I don't know, two, three different directions. They go one way, they go another way. There's a line that goes past Cook Hall. I mean, there was a line that goes way past Cook Hall, like way past, I'm down and wrapping around. And this was well before um, five o'clock. You know, the game, the game doesn't start till seven. They were out there. Some of them were out there, uh, you know, around two, two thirty. There was a group at the front that told me they actually camped out and security woke them up at eight o'clock in the morning and said, okay, hey, you can't technically start lining up until 2 p.m. So you gotta go over there, then you can come back. But there's obviously a buzz on campus about this team and about this game. And the IU students certainly are very much into it, which they've been into it, you know, here and there. But this is as much buzz as I've seen, felt, heard walking around campus for an IU game in some time. So that tells you a little bit about what, some, what tonight means uh, to IU fans and to the IU students specifically. So looks like it should be an unbelievably charged atmosphere. Number of recruits in the building as well. The headliner from the headliner, Miro Little, the point guard combo guard from Finland. He's making his tour. He's been to Baylor. He's been to Villanova. He's now here at Indiana. He's going to see an atmosphere for an Indiana Purdue game. So that's the big story from the recruiting standpoint. But again, Indiana Purdue coming up tonight at seven o'clock. Here at Assembly Hall, I'm Jeff Rabjohns for Pigs.com.